We're going to go over the uh, required techniques for second degree brown belt. Uh, first technique is called fatal cross, and it's for a uh, two-hand low push. Now, we're going to uh, drop back with the left leg into a right neutral bow, and at the same time, we're going to use the crane to clear the arms out and away, and then we're going to make the circle going from outside to inside, and we're going to strike with the uh, middle knuckles right underneath the ribs. Now, right from here, we're going to uh, do a cross heel palm. On the way going to this cross, we're going to catch the eyes with the fingers, and then we're going to drop the heel palms down and diagonal into his body to check his height zone. Then we're going to come up with a double back knuckle, scissor back knuckle. Make sure you get your wrists involved also, catching the uh, both sides of the jaw. Now, from here, we're going down again with the double heel palms, and we're going to circle right back up into a double one finger pokes catching both eyes now right from here we're going to cross grab the shoulders and then we're going to use the left hand to pull the sh uh, to pull his left shoulder in so what we're going to do we're going to use our forearm to strike against his throat and pull him right in there now with the right hand we're going to hook around his face turn him around as we step back with the right leg now his back is towards us and we're using both arms both elbows uh, on his back to control his back. Now, we're going to shoot a right straight knee to the tailbone. As we strike with the knee to the tailbone, we're going to plant forward with the left knee. We're going to round his knee to the kidney. That's going to be his right kidney. And then from there, we're going to thrust the side kick back over his right knee, and we're going to cross out. Okay, let's take this from this angle. Now, when the two-hand push comes, we're going to clear it out. As we strike out, we're going to circle out and in into him, catch it underneath the ribs. Now, as we catch his eye on the way going up, we're going to drop the heel palm, scissor back knuckle, catch the jaw, drop the heel palm, and catch the eye. Now, we grab the shoulder. We're going to do double knee strike. One, two. Now, when I plant forward, as I plant forward, I'm going to pull his shoulder. So put pressure on his throat using my forearm. Now, right from here, I'm going to strike with the heel palm, turn him around as I control the shoulder. Now, I'm going to go knee to the tailbone, knee to the kidney, and then I'm going to take his knee, cross out from there. Okay, one more time. Go back, strike, catch the eye, double heel palm, scissor back, knuckle, check, go to the eyes, grab, knees, one, two, plant forward, pull him in, turn him around. Control the shoulder, knee to the tailbone, kidney, and buckle, and cross out. Let's do this technique. We're going to speed up now. And one more time. Next technique is called twirling hammers. This is for a uh, left step through punch. Now, let's take this technique from a left fighting stance facing 12 o'clock. He comes in with a left step through. We want to get out of line of attack, so we're going to twist off. As we twist off, we're going to shoot an extended outward block. Now, this block, it could be between your extended outward and your upward block. So we're going to shoot a diagonal up, but the motion is like your extended outward. Now, right from here, as we get out of line of attack, shoot the block. Now, as your right leg step around him, with that motion, that's where your right lifting back knuckle is going to catch him to the right side of his... Uh, uh, back of the ear to the right side, right mastoid. So we're going to twist off, step around. As we step around, 
at the same time you're coming up with that lifting back knuckle. Now, as soon as the, you're completing your motion here with the lifting back knuckle, let it come over your head and we're going to drop into a right forward bow and slip the left elbow to the ribs. Now, right from here as we complete the elbow, the right hand continues to go over your head and coming down as you strike with the hammer fist to the kidney, we're going to sink from a forward bow into a neutral and your left hand is going to come on top of his left punch and check. Now, right from here, we're going to hook inside and grab his right arm. As we step back, this time we're going to drop back to 4 o'clock. As we step back, we're going to shoot a left heel palm to his lower back or to the hip to control him down as we pull the arm. Now, from here, the left hand is going to come up and heel palm around his face and the right vertical punch is going to just right his arm coming up. As we make a sandwich here, we're going to shoot a kick here with the heel, or it could be a sweeping move. At the same time, as soon as we do this, we're going to plant back and turn his face around. Now, we're going to use our arm to guide for the right hand coming from outside to poke his eye as we do a left step through reverse, and then you cross over and out from there. Okay, let's take it from here. When he does the left step through punch, we're going to twist off and catch him. Now, as I step around, that's when I step around and catch him with the knuckle. Now, right from here, I'm going to let the elbow slip. As the right hand continues, goes over and down, we're going to catch the kidney as we check. Now, I'm going to hook inside his arm. As I step back to four, I'm going to shoot a heel palm to control the back control the body. Now, as I kick there, I'm going to right his arm up with the vertical punch. The left hand is going to come around heel palm. So these moves are going to go <clears throat> together. Now, when I plant back, I'm going to turn him around. So now I'm going to guide it from here as I do a step through reverse. I'm going to catch the eye. Okay, one more time. Twist off, step around, and strike. Elbow, and come around, catch the kidney. Hook, pull, yank, and check that hip. Now, right, right the arm up as you shoot the vertical punch and shoot that kick. Plant back and turn them around. Step back and catch that eye. Okay, let's take this a little bit faster now. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah. Yes, sir! More time. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 This technique is called defensive cross. It's for a right front kick coming at you from 12 o'clock. Now, we're going to uh, step with the right leg towards 4 o'clock. So now we're in the uh, left fighting stance, left neutral ball facing 10 o'clock. At the same time, we're going to do a downward block, block inside that right kick. Now, your right hand is going to hook on top. And so as soon as you, you're doing the block, at the same time, you block and you're pulling him into you. So here comes the kick. We're going to step to the side, pull him in. Now, right from here, when we pull him in, we're going to let him walk into the back knuckle. We're going to catch him with the right back knuckle to the right side of his face. And then right from here, as you strike with the left heel palm to his face, we're going to shoot a right front kick. So we're going to cross shoot, heel palm to the face, and front kick to the midsection. Now, as soon as you do this strike, it's going to get him to lean forward. So we're going to control his head when he leans forward. We're going to plant back. But as we plant back, we're going to shoot a uh, lifting back knuckle coming up. We're going to catch his face. Now, your lift, left heel palm is back of his head, and your lifting back knuckle is catching his face. Now, we're going to grab the face. We're going to sink back into a cat stance. But at the same time we sink back to a cat stance, we're going to bring him with us. And at the same time, we're going to snap his neck, turning it counterclockwise. But in order to keep his body to stop from turning, 
when we sink back to a cat and we pull and snap his neck, at the same time, we're going to front kick him to the midsection. So we keep his body in place as we snap the neck. Right from there, when we plant forward with the right leg, we're going to do an inside-outside crescent kick, catching him with the outside of the foot. As we catch him with the crescent kick, we're going to plant back and then roundhouse kick with the right leg to the midsection and plant back. We're done with the technique. Okay. Okay, now, put your right leg back. Now, he throws the kick. At the same time that I step off to block it, I'm going to hook with my hand on top. So at the same time that I'm blocking, I'm pulling him into the back knuckle. Let's take this from the top. So you shoot the right kick, pull him in, back knuckle. Now, as I heel palm, I'm going to kick him to the groin at the same time. Now, right from there, as I control back of his head, I'm going to plant back and shoot that lifting back knuckle coming up right to his face. Now, right from here, I'm going to grab it, grab his head. As I sink back into a cat stance, I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull him and turn, snap the neck, and at the same time, I'm going to kick him to the midsection to keep him in place from turning. Now, right from here, I'm going to come with the back leg doing a crescent kick. It's going to go across his face. And then I'm going to shoot a roundhouse kick back to his face or to the midsection, depending what's available for you. And then you're going to cross out from that. Let's do this again one more time. Hook on top. Bring him in. Back knuckle. Kick. Lift him back knuckle. Grab. Sink back. Turn. Kick. Crescent kick. And roundhouse kick. Let's take it from a different angle. Shoot the kick. Pull him. Back knuckle. Heel palm kick. Lifting. Sink back, turn, kick, crescent kick, and roundhouse kick. We we'll cross up. We're going to take this a little bit faster now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. One more time. Yeah, 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 Okay, we're going to go over the next technique. It's called Dance of Darkness. Now, we're going to start the, being in a uh, right fighting stance facing 12 o'clock. Dance of Darkness, the attack is a right front kick followed with the right punch. Now, from here, when we do a right rear twist stance, dropping with the right leg, at the same time, we're going to do a right downward block outside of his kick. Now, if you wanted to hook around a little bit with your right rear twist, that's fine also to get out of the way. Now, as we block the kick, we're going to do an left inward followed with the right outward parry outside of his right punch. Now right from here we're going to go through that arm as we step through with the right leg we're going to catch his eye. Now as we catch the eye we're going to hook it and we tear at the same time we're going to step up the circle with the left leg. Now we're going to crane and pull his head down. Now from here we're going to go into a closed knee or a forward bow as we shoot a back knuckle and a vertical punch. Your vertical punch is on top, your left vertical. This is to lift his body up. Now, to straighten it up completely, we're going to shoot the left heel palm back of the head. And then we're going to drop the same palm, heel palm, right on his right shoulder to bring him into this right vertical punch coming up to the right side of his face. Then we're going to shoot the eye poke with the right hand, catch his eye, and we're going to use the right arm with, so we can guide the left eye poke in there. And at the same time, we're going to sweep his right leg. Now, from this position, we're going to spin and sweep it again, hook sweep the same leg, take him down, then we're going to shoot a heel kick. This is also called a, uh, like a retarded ball kick that we're catching with the heel, but the toes are pointing outside. 
We're going to catch the ribs. As we catch the ribs and his head come up, we're going to plant and we're going to shoot a thrusting side kick to the face and we're going to cross over out. Master, come up, please. Okay, let's uh, uh, take it from this angle. Now, he shoots the right kick, drop back, and when the punch comes, we're going to do a devil parry, inward and outward. Now, we're going to go through this arm as we step forward with the right and catch the eye. Now, as we catch the eye, we're going to step up the circle, we're going to rip. This is going to bring him back, and then we're going to shoot the back knuckle and the heel pump and the vertical punch to lift him up. Now, right from here, we're going to shoot a heel pump to straighten up and drop it on his shoulder. So as we straighten up, we drop, and that would bring this next strike coming up to the side of the face. We're going to catch the eye. I'm just going to turn him over this way. So as we rip and lift him up, heel pump on the shoulder. From here, we're going to come up and strike right on top, catch the eye. Then we're going to use that for a guide and outside as we sweep, catch the eye again, and we're going to spin and sweep again. Now. From here, we're going to catch the ribs. As the head comes up, we're going to plant and thrust side kick, clear out, cross over and out this way. Let's take it one more time from the top. Okay, shoot the kick, shoot the punch, inward, outward, catch the eye, rip. Now I'm going to turn him around so you see it from this angle. As we rip here, we're going to turn, lift him up with the back knuckle and vertical punch. He'll pump back of his head, drop it on the shoulder, come up with the strike, catch the eye, sweep, and spin sweep. Catch the ribs, thrust kick to the face, and cross over out. We're going to take this technique a little bit faster from different angles. Yes, 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 yes. One more time. Yes, 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 Let's from the other side. Yes, 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 Next technique is called marriage of the rams. Now, this is another two-man technique, uh, grabbing your shoulders from the side. It also could be grabbing your wrist also. Now, Master, Rick, come up, please. Okay. <clears throat> they're grabbing the shoulder or grabbing the wrist. Now, what we're doing here, if they're taking me with them, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back with the right leg. As I drop back, now I'm going to use back of the fingers or back of the hand. And as I turn into I'm going to strike to the groin. Now, that's going to get them to lean forward and reach with their arms towards their groin as my arm's going to come up and around, grab the head, and I'm going to step forward and bring the heads together and hit them. Now, right from here, I'm going to come up with the knee strike. And then as I step back with the left, I'm going to check. And when I drop back with my right leg, I'm going to strike with with the heel palms catching their shins. As I strike and I'm going to hit and hook their leg up, then I'm going to kick to the groin and kick to the groin, cross over out. Okay? You don't need to be holding to those legs for too long because your kicks should come up pretty fast. So now, one more time, I'm going to drop back, strike to the groin, go around, grab their heads, hit them together, knee up. And then step in as I drop back with my right, strike with the palms, hook the legs up, kick, 
ant kick and crossover out. Let's just do it from a different angle also. Stand to my side. Okay. We're going to step back, strike to the groin, go around, grab, hit the heads together, come up with the knee, strike, and then you push down as you strike to the shins, pull the legs up, kick, and kick. Now, come up here, guys. Remember, when you hit the heads together, okay, now, you could still keep the palm of the hand back of the head as you come up with the knee. So then when you plant back, you start to push down to again put some weight on those legs. And then when you're stepping back with the right, you're going to strike and lift the legs up. Okay, now let's go through this one more time. We're going to drop back. One, step forward, hit the heads to knee, push down, strike, lift, kick, and kick, cross up. Now let's pick up some speed here. One more time. Okay, one more time. Facing this way. Next technique is called Ram and the Eagle. This is another two-man technique. And this technique, we're doing a uh, combination of uh, flashing mace and five swords. Now, the, uh, we've got two opponents. One is throwing a straight right punch from front from 12 o'clock. Another person is behind you grabbing your shoulder. Now, the uh, uh, first move, we're going to drop back, doing flashing mace. And this guy, and we're going to five swords with a kick. And then we're using our claws and finishing with the kicks. Okay, Master Rick, come up, please. Okay. Now, the shoulder grab and a punch. We're going to step back here. As we step back, doing a left inward block, and we come up with this outward block. At the same time, we're making a break here. But this is going to, the right hand is going to go back and get free and shoot a back knuckle, catching the person behind you. So we drop back, catch him with the back, knock over hammer fist, and we're keeping this check. Now, right from here, I'm going to step through forward. If he's 12 o'clock, I'm going to step towards 11 o'clock with my right leg. And as I go through, I'm going to shoot a hammer fist, catch him right underneath the eye. Now, right as I hit him, I'm going to turn back into a left forward bow facing my second opponent. But I'm going to catch him with the back knuckle and the heel palm, check his arm down, come up with this lifting back knuckle, and at the same time that this lifting back knuckle comes up, he's coming with the right punch, and I'm going to stop him with the kick and shoot that block, shoot the right inward block, catch his arm. Then I'm going to five swords, heel pump, and shoot the uppercut. Now, you could go ahead and finish five swords on him with the step off and double hand sword, and then twist off into a claw here, bridge of the nose, and a claw back there, so we could finish him with the roundhouse kick, plant back, rear kick and step out. Or, when we're doing five swords here, we could just go to the uppercut, and then from there just twist in place, and kick, and kick. Now, let's take this from the top one more time. So he shoots the punch, we drop back, catch that arm, as we drop back, catch him, step through, hit, turn, up, and go into with the kick, and the block, shoot the outward hand, sword, the heel palm, and shoot the uppercut. Now, right from the uppercut, we're going to twist in place, claw, and strike, kick, and another kick, and we're going to cross over out. 
Let's take, take this technique a little bit faster now. Yes, Sam! Yes, Sam! Yes, come on, Sam! Yes, yes! One more. Come on. Get close. Yes, Sam! Yes, Sam! Yes, Sam! Yes, Sam! Next technique is called Escape from the Storm. This is a uh, right overhead club attack coming from 3 o'clock. Now, we're going to step off with the right leg towards 2, two o'clock as we do a left inward carry to brush and check that club attack. And at the same time, we're going to shoot that heel palm right away to his chin to stop the momentum from coming in. So he starts to raise up the arm to hit you. We're going to step into him. As we check with the left hand, we're going to strike to his chin. Now, right from here, as I step forward with my left leg into a left closed knee, now I'm facing 2 o'clock. I'm going to clasp that right elbow, drop it into his ribs. I'm going to hit him to the groin, hook inside on top of his right thigh. As I lift that leg up, I'm going to step all the way around and bring him around. Now, from here, I got his leg. I'm going to do a crossover. As I do a right crossover, I'm going to push down and put his knee right on top of my knee. So now, we're going to uh, create a break right here. Now, right from here, I'm going to use my left heel palm, catch him inside the thigh. As I push that leg out of the way, I'm going to unwind counterclockwise and use the strike with the monkey fist to the groin. Now, right from here, I'm going to reverse the motion. As I do a reverse monkey fist to the groin, I'm going to heel kick him to the chest or to the face, depending how deep you can reach him. Now, right from here, you're going to adjust with your right leg to the side. As you do a left front crossover, and with it, you're going to sweep and spread his leg apart a little bit more. And right from this sweep, you're going to plant forward, catch him with the monkey fist, and reverse your motion on this side. As you reverse monkey fist, you're going to use the heel kick and strike on this side, and you're going to cross over and out. Now, we're going to take this as a 12 o'clock. It comes from 3. I'm going to step to 2. As I parry, I'm going to come up with this strike and hit him to the chin. Now, as I step up with the left, I'm going to drop the elbow right into his ribs. Now, I'm going to take him, turn him around. So, from here, when I step up and drop the elbow, I'm going to hit him to the groin, hook on uh, inside his leg. As I lift that leg, bring him around, and I'm going to check his hip. Okay, now come up. Turn around this way. Now, we're going to take this move from here. Now, right from here, as I cross over, I'm going to put his knee, and I'm going to push on this side to so snap the knee. Then I'm going to heel palm inside the thigh, push that leg out of the way as I catch him with the monkey fist right to the groin. Now, I'm going to reverse this motion. As I hit him to the groin, I'm going to heel kick him to the chest. Now, that comes together. So, from here, catch him inside the thigh, unwind, hit, and... Reverse it. Now, step up and adjust so it could sweep and spread him apart as you hit him with the left. Reverse the motion and catch him this way. Now you're going to cross out from here. Okay, we're going to take this technique fast now. Uh, let's take it from that angle. Yes, sir. 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 
Next technique is called circling windmills. Now, this is for the opponent pushing with two hands, and then after he pushes you and makes you go back, he's coming with the right overhead punch. Now, as we take the push and drop back a little bit, now when he comes with the right overhead punch, we're gonna drop back with the right leg into a left neutral ball as the right hand gets underneath the punch to block it, and we're gonna stop his midsection from coming in with the left heel palm. Now, right from here, we're gonna circ circle underneath with the left hand, as the right hand circles down, hammer fist cross the ribs, and it goes through, continues to come up, check underneath the right punch, and the left hand circles down, catches the ribs or the kidney, passing through. Now, as it goes through, you're gonna come up and hook with your left hand inside his right arm, and you're gonna step through forward with your right leg, and you're gonna shoot a hammer fist to strike across his face. Now, right from here, as you shoot the hammer fist across the face, you're gonna catch the eye, and then you're gonna catch the eye as you slice underneath, and then you're gonna drop the right hand check. Now, as your right hand checks, you're gonna drop into a twist stance. This is a right front twist stance, and you're gonna shoot a left hammer fist across his face. Now, right from here, you're gonna unwind into your neutral bow as you catch the eye, palm down. Now, as you sweep his right leg with your right leg, you're gonna catch the eye, now it's going palm up. We're gonna plant back and sink as we control his right arm with the left hand. We're gonna stretch him shooting a heel palm to his chin at the same time. Then we're gonna do one, two, three claws to his face, hook at the back of his neck. We're gonna bring his face down into the heel kick. As we drag up, we're gonna use our right arm to clear his arm, and then we're gonna shoot a spinning rear kick to the groin or to the midsection, we're gonna cross out from here. Okay, now, he makes the two-hand push. Go back, he shoots the right punch, I check underneath as I shoot the left heel palm. Now I'm gonna come up, check with the left as the right hammer fist hits and it goes cross. Now it continues to come up, take the place of the left hand, the left hand hits underneath. Now we're gonna come hook inside the arm, as we hook, we're gonna step through forward, we're going through that knee also, as we hammer fist cross the face. Catch the eye, one, two, Check, twist in place, hammer fist, on one catch the eye. Now, as I sweep the leg, I'm gonna catch the eye again. And then when I plant, step out a little bit with the left, control the arm, heel palm. Claws, one, two, three, hook it back to the neck, heel kick to the face, clear the arm. As we drag in, we shoot the spinning rear. One more time, let's take it from a different angle this time. So, he makes a two hand push. Comes with a punch, sink, check the punch. Strike, strike, come inside, hit. Catch the eye, one, two, check, and hit. Catch the eye, now as you catch it again, you're gonna sweep together. Plant and stretch, and strike. Claws, one, two, three, hook it back to the neck, heel kick. Now, right from here, when you bring him down to the heel kick, we're gonna clear the arm as we drag, and we're gonna shoot the spinning rear. Cross out. I'm gonna take this technique a little bit faster now. One more time.
Next technique is called destructive kneel. This is for a uh, step through right punch coming at you. Now, we're going to uh, step forward with the left leg, but as we step forward, we're going to use a right vertical block catching outside of the right punch. Now, as we clear the punch out of the way, we're going to turn. As we turn, we're going into a left close, uh, reverse close knee, and we're going to catch him back of the knee. And at the same time, we're going to control his wrist, control outside of his right arm, and we're going to turn the upper body. Use the arm and use your upper body to snap his elbow. Now, right from here, we're going to back knuckle to the ribs. As we back knuckle, we're going to shoot the claw to the face. But this claw strike is not going to be hitting and pushing him back. You're going to claw him to the face, and as soon as you strike, you're going to grab and turn down and pull him down. So we pretty much want to keep him in place. And from this angle, as we shoot the back knuckle and the heel pump, we're going to go back to a closed knee and catch him side of the knee this, this time. And then from here, we're going to shoot a back knuckle and a vertical punch on top, left vertical on top, to his back and to the kidney. And we're going to drop into a reverse closed knee. This time, we're going to drive him back. Every time that we strike him with these reverse closed knee, back to closed knee, and again, reverse closed knee, we want to keep checking his height zone and drive him down to the ground as we strike with the hands on top. Now, right from here, we're going to drop into a forward bow. It's a right forward bow facing 3 o'clock. And from this, the right hand is checking back of his body, and the left hand hooks around and grabs his chin. Now, from here, we're going to pull his head back, and we're going to let him walk into the knee. The knee is going to shoot to his spine. Now, right from here, as we plant back, the right hand is going to come across and catch him with a hammer fist across the face. On his way down, we're going to follow with the round husky and cross up. Okay. Now, he shoots a step through right. I'm going to angle off. As I check it, then I'm going to turn into him. When I turn, I'm going to use that upper body, and I'm going to go to a reverse closed knee and strike back of his knee. Now, I'm going to back knuckle. As I back knuckle, this claw is going to hit and rake Good. down. See? We don't want to push him back. We want to claw and Good. rip down. So, from here, as we break, back knuckle claw, catch him side of the knee, and then we're going to drive him down with another knee strike as we strike to his back. Now, we're going to grab his face and go to a forward bow, check his back with the right hand. Now, we're going to pull him into the knee, and right from here, as I plant back, I'm going to follow through with a hammer fist and a roundhouse kick and cross out. Let's take this from a uh, different angle. <clears throat> Shoot the punch. Step through, turn. Catch him, make the break. Back knuckle claw and catch him here. Now from here, we're going to drive him down with the back knuckle and vertical punch as we catch that knee again. Go to a forward, go check his back, grab the face, pull him into the knee strike. As you plant back, hammer fist, follow with the round hush kick and cross out. We're going to do this a little bit faster now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next technique is called bowing to Buddha. Now, you're taking a right roundhouse kick that's coming at you, and you're taking this kick from the ground. <clears throat> Let's say we're down on our left knee. Now, from, from this position, you get the roundhouse kick coming at you that you're going to block, do a right inward block, and you could be moving slightly up, slightly up the circle as you do the block. Okay. Now, this strike, you're going to catch him around knee or up higher inside his thigh. Now, right from here, you're going to... Push and shuffle up a little bit, and you're going to shoot the vertical elbow coming up, and you're going to catch his groin. Now, right from here, you're going to heel palm to the groin, 
and with the right hand, we're going to back knuckle and smash the groin. Now, from this position, as he starts to lean forward, your left hand is going to do a heel palm, and with the left heel palm, you're going to drag up. Now, on your way dragging up, your right hand is going to go back of his left thigh. Now, we're going to take him down, but as we drag up with the left, we're shooting a left heel palm, and at the same time, we're pulling his left leg and stepping back with our right. Now, from here, the left hand is going to go underneath, grab his ankle, and we're going to grab the toes on top. Now, what we're going to do here is going to be a pull and push. We're going to push with the right hand down, and with the left hand, we're going to pull up, and we're going to step off and over his right. As we turn his leg over, get him to turn over. We're going to step through, and we're going to drop into a reversible as, he, as we push his heel down to break the knee. Now, from here, we're going to drag up, clear the leg out as we shoot the spinning rear kick to the groin, and we're going to cross over and out. Okay. Master, come up, please. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to take it from here. When he shoots the roundhouse kick, and I'm going to go up the circle, now I'm going to catch him to the groin with the elbow, coming up, clear. Now, this is checking outside of my face also in case of this hand. Now, from here, as I come up, we're going to catch him to the groin with the, hand, with the back knuckle. We're going to smash right on top of the groin. Now, as he starts to lean forward, I'm going to shoot a left heel pump, but at the same time, I'm going to drag my left leg up, and the right is going to hook back of his leg. So as I drag up and shoot a left heel pump, I'm going to step back and take him down in place. Now, the left hand is going to hook underneath his ankle. I'm just going to show this. Now, when you grab the ankle here, the right hand, see how the fingers are pointed at each other. We grab the ankle and grab the toes. Now, as we push down, we're going to pull up, get him to turn over. As I turn over, as he turns over, with the left, I'm going to step over. See, I'm going to turn him over, step over, and step through. Now, when I step through, I'm going to drop into a reverse bow, push his knee down, and I'm going to use this angle here to make pressure. Right from here, I'm going to drag up and hook his leg out as I shoot a spinning rear kick to the groin and cross over out. Let's take this one more time. So, from here, we're going to block the kick with the elbow, strike, back knuckle to the groin, smash the groin, Drag up with the heel pump, step back and pull. Take him down, grab the ankle, turn him over, control, break the knee, drag up, hook the leg out, and spinning rear, and you cross out. Go bound to Buddha. Now we're going to take it a little bit faster. Yes, 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 yes. And one more time. Yes, 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 Uh, next technique called uh, uh, reversing circle. That's where a left roundhouse kick coming at you, and uh, the follow through is with also a left punch. Now, we're going to step forward with the right leg from a tension stance. With the right leg, we're going to step forward right into the kick and try and jam it and block it using our universal block. Now, since this kick is coming from outside, the front hand is going to be low, your back hand is going to be on top. 
Now, right from here with the quarter timing, we're going to shoot the right hand up to check underneath his left punch, and we're going to uh, shoot a uh, left heel palm to the ribs. We're dropping into a right forward bow, now facing 2 o'clock. And then from here, we're going to reverse our circle from the forward bow as we sink into a neutral. Left hand comes up, checks underneath the punch, and the right hand heel palms to the ribs. We're going to control the wrist and cross over. As I cross over, I'm crossing over towards 8 o'clock. I'm going to bring him down here and shoot a uh, forearm or hammer fist to his elbow. Now, right from here, I'm going to shoot a uh, side kick inside his right knee, and at the same time, I'm going to shoot the back knuckle side of his face. And as soon as I do these strikes, I'm going to cross over and step out, controlling his arm. Make sure that arm is pinned right underneath your right elbow and over your right knee. Now, from here, I'm going to put both thumbs back of his wrist. As I do a step through reverse, I'm going to turn him and use his wrist and flip him over this way. And then we're going to finish him with the left looping roundhouse kick to the body and cross up. Okay, Master, come up, please. Okay, now, let's take this uh, from this angle. Now, when he shoots the left round husk kick, and we step in, we jam it. Now, right away, when he shoots the left punch, quarter time, I'm going to check underneath and shoot the heel palm. Now, regardless if he's going to throw the left punch or not, you could still shoot that right arm up. Now, let's say if he's just throwing the round husk kick, when we block, we could come up, check, as we strike, and then we're going to reverse. Now let's throw the left punch in there also. So we catch the kick, come underneath, catch the punch, then we're going to reverse our circle, check, and heel palm this way. We're going to control him coming down. As we back knuckle, we're going to kick inside the knee, and we're going to go back to the same place. As I step out, I'm going to control him. Make sure I'm keeping the pressure on the elbow to keep him down and control. Putting both thumbs back of his wrist, as I do a step through reverse, I'm going to flip him over, controlling the wrist, finish him with a kick to the midsection, and cross out. Let's take this one more time. Come up. Shoot the left kick, left punch, check underneath, reverse the circle, bring him over, back knuckle kick, step out, control, flip him over, and kick. Okay, now come up here. One thing I'd like to show you guys, we're going to take that from uh, this angle. Just go down. When you go to flip him over, I don't want his arm going in a big circle. Okay, right from here, you're going to drop back. I'm just going to do this slow. Right from here, I'm going to use my body to turn and keep this in a small circle and just let him flip right over. Okay, and finish him with the kick. Come up. Now we're going to take this a little bit faster. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. And one more time. Come up. Yes, 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 yes. Next technique is called reprimanding the bears. Now, this is another two-man technique. Uh, you got one opponent from 12 o'clock coming at you with a step through right punch, and you have another opponent from behind. He's got a uh, bear hug on you from behind with your arms pinned. Okay, Master Rick, come up, please. Okay, now, he puts, he's got a bear hug on you from behind, so we're going to check his hands. We're going to sink to the side, and as we step and sink the weight straight down, we're going to, you're going to have to let him feel your body weight dropping. So as you check, we're going to drop the hammer fist to the groin. Now, at the same time, since your arms are pinned, the only way to stop his punch is with the kick. Shooting a right kick to his midsection, stop him from coming in. Now, right from here, when we sink, shooting the hammer fist, and at the same time we kick, we're going to shoot this leg right back, 
from the cave, we're going to shoot it right back to Buckle. Now, from here, we're going to shoot the uh, upward back knuckle going to his face. Now, when, when we hit him, we're going to grab his face, and then we're going to bring him into the knee shot. Now, as we knee, we're going to shoot the outward hand sword. Now, from here, we're going to take this knee with the knife edge, and right away, as soon as we catch his knee, we're going to plant cross behind and back knuckle. We're going to go to a front kick and a back kick, and we're going to cross over and out. Let's take this one more time. Stay a bit closer. Now, he comes in. We're going to sink, kick, buckle, come up to the face, grab, knee, push him out, take the knee, cross behind, back knuckle, kick, and kick. Cross over and out. Let's take this one more time. Sink, kick. Now, right from there, we're going to shoot the hammer fist to the groin. Step back, buckle, come up with that, grab, bring him to the knee, take the knee with the knife edge, back knuckle, kick, kick, and cross over out. Let's take this a little bit faster now. Let's do this one more time. This technique is called circling the storm. This is for a uh, uh, right hand step through club attack. It's stabbing coming at your throat. Now, we're going to step forward with the left leg towards 10 o'clock into a left neutral bow. Use the right hand to check outside of the club, the, uh, uh, the stick, check the stick, and the left hand is going to inward block outside of his right arm. Now, right from here, uh, I'm going to step through forward with my right leg towards 11 o'clock. And as I step through forward, I'm going to catch him with the elbow catching the ribs. Now, right from here, I'm going to turn into a left forward bow facing 6 o'clock, and I'm going to hit him with the uh, left elbow to the ribs. Now, right from here, as I switch in place, I'm going to switch in place, catch his eye with the right hand, and right side kick back of his um, right knee. Now, right from here, this right hand, as it catches the eye, you're going to continue coming down, and it's going to turn into a heel palm to the lower back. Now, from here, we're going to come up, catch the eye as I sweep his leg, now, right with the sweep, my left hand is going to come up and claw the face. And I'm going to do the sweep, go down all the way to the monkey fist, catch the groin. Now, right from here, the right hand is checking on his back. I'm going to step back with the left, and the left hand is going to come up and around, grab his chin in front of his face. I'm going to drag up, knee to the lower back. Now, as I shoot the knee, I'm going to pull his face and shoot the knee to the lower back. I'm going to plant and use the uh, stiff arm right back of his head to raise him up and straighten up his body. Now, I'm going to adjust with the left like a cross behind, but I'm not going to take any depth into the opponent. I'm just going to drop back to adjust my stance. From here, I'm going to shoot a right side kick back of his right knee. At the same time, the right rich hand is going to catch him to the throat coming up, and we're going to cross out from here. Master, come up, please. Okay. Now, he's going to uh, come in with a step through poke. I'm going to step forward. As I ch check the uh, club, I'm going to shoot the block here. Now, from here, I'm going to go through with the elbow and turn with another elbow strike. Okay. Now, right from here, as I switch my stance, right in place when I switch my stance, I'm going to catch his eye. And with that, I'm going to kick him back of the knee and heel palm to the lower back. I'm just going to turn him around a little bit here. From this strike, I'm going to come back up to his face.
face, grab the eye. I'm going to sweep. As I sweep, I'm going to claw to the face. Now I'm going to shoot the Mikey face, Mikey fish right to the groin. Now from here, I'm going to check with the right, step back, and grab the face. Now turn around just a bit this way. As I grab the face, I'm going to drag up knee to the lower back. Now plant and raise them up, catch them with the stiff arm back of the head. And I'm going to cross as I kick back of the knee. I'm going to come with the rich hand and catch his throat together. Now let's take this one more time. I'm going to step, check, block, step through, elbow, elbow. Switch in place, catch his eye. Now as I catch, I'm going to kick and heel palm, come up. Flip that right over, catch the face, claw, sweep, and go to the groin. Now, right from here, step back, grab the face, drag up, knee to the back, plant and lift him up, cross here, take the knee as with side kick, and we're going to reach hand to the throat and cross out. Yes, sir! 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 One more time. Yes, 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 Next technique is called unfolding the dark. The attack is a uh, left step through punch coming from your right flank. So uh, the opponent's coming from 4 o'clock, we're facing 12 o'clock. Now, I'm going to take a small step with my left just to move away. As I do a right inward parry, catching outside of his left punch, I'm going to shoot a thrust kick, thrust back kick with my right leg, catching his knee. Now, as soon as I catch his knee, I'm going to plant, do a drag up, small drag here, and we're going to shoot the rear kick to his ribs. Now, this is going to take the weight off of his front leg. So our next move, as I plant, is going to be, I'm going to spin with my left, and it's going to be a spinning hook here, catch his leg. Now, at the same time, I'm going to use that left back knuckle. As I take him down, on his way down, I'm going to sink straight down into a left white kneel stance, facing 2 o'clock, and I'm going to shoot the hammer fist across his chest. Now, as soon as he hits the ground, we're going to clear his arm and shoot the back kick to his ribs. And right from there, we're going to cross out. Okay. Now, he's coming with a step through punch. I'm going to step off. As I step off and I parry at the same time, I'm going to take that knee. Then I'm going to drag and take the ribs. As I plant, I'm going to spin. With this spin, I'm going to back knuckle, hook, and hammer fist across the chest. Take him down. Then right from here, we're going to clear with the right leg in case there's an arm up. We're going to clear that. And right from there, we're going to shoot the heel kick to the ribs. And we're going to cross up from there. Let's take this again. Come up. He comes with a punch. Step off. Parry it. Take the knee. Drag. Take the ribs. Spin. And hammer fist. Clear. And kick. Cross out. Okay, let's, let's take this from a different angle also. I'm going to take the knee, drag, take the rib, plant, spin, take him down with the hammer fist, clear, and back kick to the ribs, and cross up. Let's take this a little bit faster now. I'm going to take it from this angle. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. One more time. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's take it from a different angle also. Yes, 
And one more time. Next technique is called unwinding pendulum. We're going to take this from a right fighting stance. This is a right front kick coming at you, followed with the uh, right step through punch. Now, from your right neutral ball, as he shoots the right front kick, we're going to drop back into a right rear twist, and we're going to uh, use the right hand to do the downward block. Now, we're going to, this is more like a downward parry, so we're going to keep bringing him in. Now, as he shoots the right punch, we're going to unwind and block with the left, with the left hand, doing a left inward block outside of his right. Now, right from here, as I check with the right hand outside of his right, I'm going to drop the left heel palm to the ribs, and right from here, I'm going to shoot a right kick with, with my right leg. I'm going to catch him back of his left knee. Now, right from there, we're going to complete the circle with the right hand, go into a monkey fist, catch the groin, and I'm going to unwind and use my right leg to buckle back of his right knee, and I shoot the right elbow strike to the lower back and heel palm strike on top back of his neck. Now, right from here, I'm going to come up. As I buckle with the left, this, this way, I'm going to shoot an elbow high this time to the back of his neck and a heel palm low. And then from here, I'm going to drive the elbow down on his spine as I twist in place. And with the right hand, I'm going to shoot a looping back knuckle to the side of his face. And I could step out with a chop, finishing him. Master, come up, please. Okay, now. He shoots the uh, right front kick. We're going to bring him in. And when he shoots the uh, le uh, right punch, we're going to catch him outside of the right punch with the left hand. Now, from here, just going to turn him around from this angle. As I block, I'm going to check with the right. As I drop a left heel palm to the ribs or to the kidney, I'm going to catch him back of the knee. So right from the block, strike and catch him back of the knee and go to the groin. Now, right from here, as I buckle the back of his knee with the right leg, I'm going to shoot an elbow low and a heel palm up high, okay, to keep him up. Now, from here, I'm going to come up and buckle the other side. As I buckle this side, this time I'm going to turn around a little bit. This time I'm going to elbow up high as a heel palm low. Now, I'm going to ride that elbow right into his spine as I go to a twist stance, and I'm going to come up with the looping back knuckle, catch him here. As I step out, I could use a chop or a heel palm just to check him off of me, and I'm going to step out. Now, let's take this one more time. Now, he shoots the kick, shoots the punch. We're going to check and strike and go to the groin. Then we're going to buckle the knee, elbow low, heel palm up high. Now we're going to come up as we check the upper body. We're going to come up and switch off and buckle the other side. This time we're going to elbow high, heel palm low. Then we're going to drive the elbow down the spine as I twist in place. Let me just change the angle for this one. Okay, turn this way. When we buckle and heel palm low and elbow up high, drive the elbow down the spine, twist in place, and shoot that back knuckle coming up. Now, you want to make sure that you're not going to cross out because then you take the reach. Right from here, just twist in place and strike, and you're going to step out. I'm going to take this technique a little bit faster now. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. One more time. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes,
Next technique is called piercing lance. Now this is for a right step through stabbing knife attack going to the midsection. We're going to take this technique with arms up and we're going to be in a left 45 degree cat stance facing 12. Now as the strike comes in, the knife attack comes in from 12 o'clock straight in, we're going to do a right cross behind going towards 10 o'clock and the right hand is going to crane outside or we could use an outward hand or outside of his right hand. And at the same time, your left hand is going to hook on top of his arm. On its way, hooking on top, you could catch across his face and hook. And we're going to unwind, control that arm as we shoot the right elbow strike, outward elbow to his back. Now, right from here, we're going to grab his wrist. We're going to step out and do an outward hand so with the left hand to the throat and stretch him out. Now, right from here, we're going to drop some weight on his shoulder to take him down. As we take him down, we're going to shuffle up into a left closed kneel and we're going to put both thumbs back of his wrist and control this arm control his hand if he's holding the knife towards his own throat now with the left hand we're going to grab the wrist and use the right hand grabbing the uh, elbow we're going to snap and dislocate the shoulder grab the, the wrist with the right hand turn it around drop into a reverse bow left reverse but as we shoot the heel palm down his elbow to break the elbow and we're going to thrust side kick with the left leg to the face clear the arm out of the way and cross out master come up please okay now as he comes with the right knife attack we're going to drop back as we drop back with the right leg we're going to catch outside of the arm and we're going to hook the left hand on top hook here and strike with the elbow we're going to grab the wrist, step out, and catch him to the throat, drop the weight down on his shoulder, take him down. Now, from here, I'm going to use both thumbs back of his hand, and I'm going to go right to his, towards his face. Grabbing his wrist, I'm going to snap the elbow and dislocate the shoulder. From here, I'm going to come around, grab his wrist, turn the arm around, break the elbow as I shoot a thrust side kick to his face, and clear and out. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. Take it from here. Now, when he comes in with the knife, I'm going to catch it. As I catch it, bring him yeah. in, catch him with the heel palm, hook and break here. Now you're going to put enough pressure on the elbow that he's going to let go of the knife at this point. If not, we're going to continue controlling that wrist, step out, catch him with the outward hand, so to the throat, and drop him down. Now. From here, it could come down with his elbow on your knee. We're going to control this wrist. We're going to catch him this way if he's got the knife. Now, we're going to grab the wrist here, dislocate the shoulder, grab the wrist this way, turn him around, break the elbow, thrust side kick, and clear the arm, crossing out. Let's do this technique. We're going to pick up some speed here now. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this again. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try it from a different angle. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. 
Next technique is called escape from darkness. Now, this is a uh, right step through punch from left flank. The opponent is coming from 8 o'clock, we're facing 12 o'clock. I'm going to take a step with my right leg, going into a, a reverse cat stance here, getting ready to shoot that back kick, left back kick to take his knee. Now, at the same time, with my left hand, I'm doing a left inward parry outside of his right punch. Now, right from here, when I catch the knee, I'm going to plant, then I'm going to step through, reverse this way, back of his right, right leg. As I step behind his right leg to spread his, his legs a little bit, I'm going to step through with the left, behind his left knee, and at the same time, I'm going to shoot a uh, left straight punch to the right side of his face. And right from here, I'm going to drop into a forward bow and follow with the right step through punch. Then I'm going to grab his chin, go up the circle with my back leg, and snap his neck, and I'm going to follow with the uh, hook kick to the left side of his face, and we're going to cross out from here. Okay, now, let's say we're taking it from here. I'm facing 12. I'm going to step up towards 1 o'clock, 1.30. As I inward parry, outside of the punch, I'm going to shoot a back kick, take the knee. Now, when I spin, I'm just going to spin and spread his legs apart with the back knuckle. I'm going to step through with the punch, right, as, right side of his face, and I'm going to step through right back of his left knee. Take him down. Now, I'm going to follow through with the punch, catching him to the face, grab the chin, I'm going to go up the circle with my right leg as I snap the neck. Then I'm going to come up and shoot a hook kick to the outside of his face and cross out. Let's take this one more time. Shoot the punch. I'm going to step up, take the knee, spin, spread him apart, and step through. Another punch, snap the neck, and we're going to hook kick to the left side of the face and cross out. Yes, 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 Next technique is called capturing the rock. Now, this is a uh, gun technique. Your opponent is standing in front of you, pointing the gun at your midsection, or your chest. Now, right from here, we're going to uh, step forward with the right leg. As we step forward, and this is when your hands could be coming up if he is asking you to bring your arms up. Now, if your arms are beginning to come up, you want to step forward with the right leg. And if the barrel of the gun is here, you're going to roll right on it. And at the same time, your left hand is coming inside to check the barrel. You're going to step in with your right and control his hands on top. Now, your elbow could be dropping on his right arm. Now, right from here, as you control, we're going to drop into a right forward bow. With the uh, two-finger poke, we're going to catch his eye. Bring the hand, we control the wrist. We're going to pull the gun out. At the same time, we're going to break his finger. As we pull the gun out, we're going to catch him back of the neck. And we're going to step back. Now, I'm going to shoot a right front kick to the groin. As I step forward with the bottom of the gun, I'm going to come up and catch him this way. So we're going to come up and angle off. Not right from here coming up, I'm going to circle over, catch him bridge of the nose, and go back and on top, catch him bridge of the nose again. As I pull back, do a right step through reverse, pull the gun away, grab it and control it properly, cross over out. You could have your left hand underneath, or this way, or checking. Control your opponent, or if you have to fire. Master, come up, please. Okay, now, let's take it from this angle. Now, he's pointed the gun. What you want to do, your left hand is going to control the barrel. Right hand is going to come on top, control the arm. And at the same time, what you want to do is let your body roll on the barrel. So if there's going to be any firing, you want it to be that way away from you. 
So what we want to do, we want to make sure that we're not turning in front of the gun. We're going to turn and go inside. Now we're going to catch his eye. Come from underneath. Don't let your hand go in front of the barrel. After the eye probe, we're coming inside underneath. Now we're going to, if the finger is inside here, we're going to break it by pulling out this way. Now, for practicing purposes, keep your finger out. When we break the finger, pull the gun out with the back of the gun. We're going to catch him back of the neck, coming back here. As we kick to straighten him up, then we're going to come up and strike with the bottom of the gun coming up, catching the chin. Then we're going to circle it over, figure eight, catch this side of the face, and underway coming back, we're going to catch bridge of the nose. Now, when we strike here, we're going to come back, pull the gun away from the opponent. As we cross over, we control it properly and ready. Okay, let's take it again from this angle. Now, when my hands are coming up, catch here, come on top, control the arm, catch the eye. Control the wrist, pull the gun out, break the finger, catch him back of the head, kick, come up, over, and down, bridge of the nose, grab the gun properly so you could hold it properly, and control. Let's take this technique fast now. Yes, 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 yes. Now, if your opponent is asking you to put your arms up as your arms coming up, you could go to your technique. Put your hands up. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Next technique is called Prance of the Tiger. It's a uh, right step through uppercut coming from, uh, from the right side of your body. Your opponent is coming with the right hand. I'm going to show you two different ways of dealing with this uppercut. Uh, Masu, come up, please. Okay, now, let's say, uh, take this angle. Now, let's say he shoots the uppercut. Now, let's hold the uppercut here. Now, if... If it was coming with the uppercut and I had the chance to drop back, that I hook with my left hand, catch the uppercut, then I could use my right hand going into a lifting back knuckle, and then we do the rest of the technique from that angle. Now, if I was to drop back and I was to catch his uppercut with my right hand, then when I use it dropping back into a cat sense, I'm going to catch that uppercut as the left hand is position check here. This hand is going to catch the uppercut going out. It could also come up. But on its way coming down, we're going to catch the wrist. As we catch the wrist here with the left hand, we're going to catch the elbow. And at the same time, we're going to take this knee. So these three strikes are going to be hitting together. Now, if he's not doing a step through and his body is kind of squared off when he shoots the uppercut, we're going to check, come here, as we break the, the elbow by catching the wrist, we're going to take this knee, and then we're going to back knuckle and kick inside the other knee. Now, as soon as I do the back knuckle, I'm just going to turn them around here. As soon as I catch this inside the other knee with the back knuckle, I'm going to let the back knuckle go through so I could catch his eye with the finger coming back. So the back knuckle with the kick goes through, and then as I cross over and catch inside the knee, catch his eye also, and then I'm going to spin with a stiff leg raise between the legs. That's going to get him to lean forward, and I'm going to turn with a hammer fist knee, another hammer fist knee, and a push down heel palm back of the head. Let's uh, get a better angle on this one. Come up, Master. Okay, now let's uh, take it from here. When he comes in, going to check that up, uppercut, drop him back into a cat. 
Catch the wrist, catch the elbow, and we're going to kick here all at the same time. Now, right from here, I'm going to go into a back knuckle, and I'm going to kick. On the way back, I'm going to catch his eye and catch inside his knee to open him up. Now, I'm going to catch him with a stiff leg raise, turn with a hammer fist knee, hammer fist knee, and as I cross out, I'm going to heel palm strike and push down. Okay, one more time from this angle. If I was to catch it with my left hand, when I drop back, then right, right hand is doing a lifting back knuckle, and from here, I could shoot the hammer fist, catch him across the midsection as I check the arm and catch the knee. Back knuckle kick, catch the eye, open him up, stiff leg raise, turn him with the hammer fist knee, hammer fist knee, and heel palm push down and cross out. Now we're going to pick up some speed on this technique. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Next technique is called broken rod. That's another gun technique. Now this time your opponent is behind you and got the gun behind you. I'm going to just uh, turn around. From here, as I twist in place, and we're going to roll on the barrel of the gun, right at the same time, I'm going to strike with my right hand down. So I'm going to shoot his arm out away and diagonal down. So I could step through with my left, controlling his wrist, coming underneath, break his elbow. Now, right from here, we're going to go hammer fist to the groin, and then I'm going to come around as I step through with my right leg into a right forward bow, I'm going to control his arm, put pressure on his uh, elbow. Now, I'm going to pull the gun out. As I pull the gun out, I'm going to catch his face and com complete my circle coming back to his heart. So we're going to bring him up, catching his face, and go around and catch his heart. Now, right from here, I'm going to go into a one leg stance as I hop up towards 10 o'clock with my left, coming up to a one leg stance. The left hand is checking and the right hand you're going to use the bottom of the gun and strike back of his right elbow. And then from here, as you kick back of his knee, you're going to catch him back of the head with the gun again. And then after you strike and you plant forward, you're going to come hit him back of the neck again, follow with the left heel palm. Now, right from here, we're going to catch him to the head. Again, this time as we strike, we're going to keep going in a circle and step through, looking at him this way, control the gun and grab it properly as we cross over out and step away pointing at him. Master, come up, please. Okay, now, again, what I want you to do is, when he's holding the gun on your back, okay, you want to just roll on that arm. Make sure we're not turning away that he could fire, okay? What you want to do, let's just turn around a little bit more this way. Now, from here, you just want to roll on that barrel. Right away, the first move, we're just going to roll in that arm and step through. Now, let's take it again. From here, as I roll, my right hand is going to shoot down, controlling his wrist. And I'm going to step through, coming underneath his elbow. With my right hand, I'm controlling his wrist. Left hand is going to come up, catch him underneath the elbow. I'm going to hit him with the hammer fist to the groin, get him to lean forward. Now, I'm going to right step through into a forward bow and control his arm. Let's turn the other way. Okay, so you put the gun. I'm going to roll on the barrel. Come around, break, catch him to the groin. Step forward, control the arm. Now, I'm going to grab the gun, break the finger, pull it out. Now, I'm going to use the bottom of the gun here, catch him up to the face, bring him up, and complete the circle, hitting him 
to the heart here. Now, right from here, as I hop with my leg, left leg into a one leg stance, I'm going to clear back of his shoulder and with the gun, I'm going to hit him back of the elbow. Now, right from here, I'm going to catch his face as I kick, bring him down, hit him again.